Welcome back everybody. My name is Off Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever known basically what to do with a flingomatic, or maybe you haven't gotten a flingomatic yet, but a flingomatic is used for pretty much one thing, and that's keeping your base from catching on fire. Of course, I don't have a base right now, but you can kind of get the idea. A flingomatic is usually made after winter time when you've acquired enough ice, although you can make one flingomatic with the amount of ice that you would get at the beginning of autumn, just starting a world, but I usually don't recommend that until middle of the game. Usually you want to get yourself at least one or two flingos, depending on when you decide to before summertime hits. What will happen is your flingomatic will keep your base from being set on fire, and it'll keep your crops or anything that you have around you that needs to be basically, you know, not wilting, like grass and all that other stuff, from doing so. So that way it stays nice and wet throughout the entire year. Now, some people have asked me to make a video on this because they don't really know what's the best form of fuel for a flingomatic. So let's go ahead and talk about that. There's ample amount of things that will count as fuel. Keep in mind, if you look at you, or I don't know if you use uh, Inside Mod or not, but if you decide to use Inside Mod, you can use or look at it and it'll tell you it creates 180 seconds of fuel, basically indicating that it's a really good source of fuel, especially if you, were used, it, uh, if you used it on like a fire pit or something like that. So, if you are going to take something and place it inside the flingomatic, know what is good and know what is bad, and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit. Keep in mind, there's tons of different things in the world of Don't Starve Together, and I'm not about to sit here and showcase every single one of those, because I really don't think it's worth doing so. I think you can kind of do this through trial and error, but I'll show you what I normally use my flingomatic and how do I fill it up, and kind of go from there. Now, before the recent change, grass tufts and all that stuff used to be amazing for flingomatics, actually a little bit overpowered, but recently they changed it so grass tufts actually make a lot more, especially when you're creating them, so now it's not as good to use it. So what is? Well, a board is probably one of your best forms of fuel, which creates obviously from logs, and you know, you can decide if you want to just put a few logs in there so generally speaking logs is probably your best option however if you have glomer in your base and i have 55 million glomers right here which are not actually here but you know just for the sake of it you can actually use glomer goop keep in mind glomer goop is used for some better alternative stuff especially now with how you can make it so multiple different bosses especially multiple different deer clopses shows up within the first year so then you have grass, which I definitely would not use, and twigs, which I would not use, unless in case of emergency. Poop is too, go is too good to actually, you know, use for other things that it would be a waste to use it on a flingomatic, so I really don't think you should use it. My main recommendation is sticking to logs and or boards exclusively. If you wander around the world and you somehow find like a boon or okay, a dead little skeleton and there's some logs around it, or sorry, any logs or boards around it, feel free to use it on the flingomatic. So yeah, just get yourself some fuel that way. Keep in mind, there's so much forms of fuel, but stick away from anything that could be used for something better. Don't be putting rot, don't put it don't put niter in there, but if you do have a dead glomer flower, feel free to put that in there because really you can't use that for anything else. Pretty much anything that drops from glomer, like not counting the monster meat, is always a good source of actual fuel for the flingomatic. So if you want to shove a little bit of glomer goop in there and you have tons of it, feel free to do so. If you would prefer to use boards, feel free to do so. Keep in mind, trees are pretty much all over the map. So it's not that hard to go and chop down a ton of trees and expect yourself to get a ton of boards. And you can just have a little chest next to your flingomatic specifically for fuel. And yeah, that's how to fuel your flingomatic. Pretty easy video, right? Some people might have looked at this and said, um, of course, why would you use anything other than boards? But to be honest with you, when I first started playing DST, I did use a lot of stuff like Niter, and I would just shove pretty much anything that you can in there. But you want to make sure that you stick to things that actually, you know, don't, I guess, can be used for something more valuable. So that's why I would suggest always using logs. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.